So what I'm going to do here today is uh, going to test the range of this uh, remote shutter application. I downloaded it to my uh, tablet. This happens to be an Acer A100. And um, I'm here on a football field. And I set up the camera uh, at the goal line. And then I'm going to walk 10 yards and fire the shutter. And we'll see if on what the range is. So to activate uh, shutter, remote shutter, you go through the menu, select applications, and go to remote shutter. And I have it already running on my Android device here. So it's connecting. Sorry for the glare on the screen, it's pretty bright out here. And so you can see a live view of what's happening here. So now I'm going to take this around to the other side and uh, I'll start the test. I'm at the 50 yard line. Uh, there's the camera there in the distance. And I'm starting to run into a little bit of issue with um, maintaining a, a, a clear connection uh, with the camera. It seems sometimes it will slow down when I do an image capture. Um, for instance, I'll see if it'll, I can repeat it here, but here it is on the screen. Sorry, it's kind of getting a lot of glare here. So there, there we are on the live shot. So you can see it's processing. Oh, there it was a connection error. So in my uh, not so scientific test, uh, I was able to get roughly about 50 yards or so. I start having some issues with uh, dropping connection and sometimes there would be an error downloading the file, the two mega, mega, megabyte file onto the tablet. Um, at a little closer distances, like you know, anything before 50 yards or so, I didn't really have any problems. Um, so it's actually quite good if you can get nearly 50 yards or so of, of distance with that. Um, plus, you know, being able to see what's in frame, I think that's a pretty cool feature for this uh, camera. Um, and I, I plan on trying it on different situations and see how well it performs. But there's one thing, yeah, I, I think there's a quite a little bit of a shutter lag, obviously, since there's a, a Wi-Fi connection and then the delay to see the live preview. Um, if you want to minimize um, the, the time it takes to review and get back to the live preview, I probably suggest turning off um, the save to tablet mode unless you really need to. There's For me, I really don't need to save this, the images to a tablet. Um, it's okay with just leaving them on the camera. And that, that sort of time, if you turn that off, that really cuts down the time it takes to go from snapping the shutter and then going back to review mode. Um, there's also one other mode where you can just have it fire the shutter, but you don't get a preview of what you just shot. So. I, that could be something if you just if you're taking pictures of something let's say has some sort of critical timing issue and you want to see right away what you're shooting and you, you don't really need to review it I, I'd probably select that option too as long as you're within distance um, the, the thing is you'll know if the thing's not firing the shutter off at a distance because you'll get a clear error on the screen that the camera camera and the tablet or Android device Android device lost connection so I don't think you're going to miss that sort of um, feedback because when you press the shutter you'll definitely see something that says it's processing um, before it goes back to a live preview. Hopefully um, I'm going to give this a shot in other situations and I'm losing light here so um, we'll see you on the next uh, day's review.